Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Are you focused on active language learning or passive language learning? And which is the best way to learn? In this video, you'll learn the difference between active and passive learning and some methods for each. Do you know the difference between active and passive learning? You'll find out the differences between these two. First, the difference between active and passive learning. Here's the difference. Active learning means you're actively engaging with learning material and focusing on it. For example, you're reading in your target language, you're looking up words, you're translating, you're memorizing phrases, or you're speaking out loud. So you're focused on what you're learning and you're really into it. Now, passive learning is different. It requires less concentration. It's usually done when you're doing something else. For example, doing chores, driving to work, or taking the train. You could be listening to an audio lesson or watching a video lesson. But the difference is you're not focused on picking apart every word. You're just passively taking the language in. What about you? How do you usually learn? Do you have a lot of active practice? A lot of passive practice? Do you have a combination? Let us know in the comments. Second, how you can learn both ways with our lessons. If you do a lot of passive learning, say because you're always on the go, then here are four simple tactics you can apply right now. One, press play on a lesson and just listen or watch, just like you would with YouTube. So if you're at home with your computer on, press play on a lesson and take it in. Two, now if you're outside, if you're going to the store or commuting, you can learn with our free Innovative Language 101 app for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. Again, open a lesson, press play, and that's it. If you want to passively review words and phrases, then check out the vocabulary slideshow tool. This premium study tool is available on every lesson and vocab list. Just press play, and with every slide, you'll get the word, the audio pronunciation, the translation, and sample sentences. You can even put the slideshow on loop and immerse yourself that way. And third, if you have an Amazon Echo device, then you can immerse yourself with daily audio lessons or you can learn with the quick word of the day. You can just play a lesson and keep it in the background while you're at home. Just look for Daily Dose by Innovative Language on the Amazon Skill Store and download it for free. Now, if you're looking for some active learning practice and you have some time to concentrate, here are five tactics you can use right now. Number one, listen or watch a lesson and read along with the translations. You'll get complete translations in the lesson notes and the line-by-line -line dialogue. This will make your reading and listening skills skyrocket. The best part is you'll understand every single word. The translations are right in front of you. Number two, repeat the lesson dialogue as you hear it. This is called shadowing and it will boost your speaking skills. Just repeat the lines that you hear until you can speak with confidence. To make it even easier, you can also get the lines in the dialogue study tool and in the lesson notes, so you can read them out loud as you hear them in the lesson. Number three, record yourself with our voice recorder in the dialogue study tool to perfect your pronunciation and see how close you are to a native speaker. Number four, if you want to boost your vocabulary, study words with our smart flashcards. They sort the words for you, so you get the harder words more often until you master them, and the easy ones show up now and then to refresh your memory. And number five, ask questions and practice. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you're a Premium Plus user, you get your very own teacher, and you can ask them to review and correct your writing and speaking. You can also ask for learning advice and get all of your questions answered. Both are great ways to learn, but which one is best? Well, that depends on you. If you have some quiet time to focus, active learning is best. But if you're on the train and you're multitasking, then passive learning is the better option. Whichever you choose, you can apply both with our language learning program. So to test out active and passive learning, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.